Today in our 2013 Dodge Challenger, we'll be installing the Kurt Hitch, part number C12064. This is what our hitch will look like once it's installed. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is seven and a half inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is nine and three quarter inches. This will assist you with selecting accessories such as a bike rack or cargo carrier. Now let's go ahead with installation. First, before we install the hitch, we'll need to lower the exhaust. We'll be removing the two bolts securing the exhaust hanger just inside above the muffler. Next, we'll remove the fasteners here, securing the driver's side muffler to the main exhaust. Then, we will spray down the rubber isolator with some spray lubricant, and then use our pry bar or pliers to remove the rubber isolator forward of the rear axle on the driver's side. Then we'll go ahead and lower the exhaust down out of the way so we can gain access to the frame. Note, I recommend to install a safety strap underneath the exhaust to support the weight on the passenger side, now with the driver's side out and set aside for installation later. We'll also be removing the rubber isolator here on the passenger side. We'll repeat the same process, removing the two bolts securing the exhaust hanger just inside above the muffler. We'll go ahead and use a safety strap to safely lower the exhaust, gaining access to the frame rail on the passenger side. Now we'll go ahead and point out the attachment points. There will be a total of six attachment points, three on each side. On the passenger side, again with the forward attachment and center attachment, these are pre-drilled holes in the frame by the manufacturer, and the rear attachment will be a well nut built into the frame by the manufacturer. For the three pre-drilled holes in the frame that are not well nuts, We'll be using a half inch carriage bolt and block with a half inch flange nut. To get our bolt and block into the frame, we'll use a half inch bolt leader provided with our install kit. For the weld nuts, we'll be using a half inch bolt along with a half inch conical tooth washer, the teeth of the washer facing the hitch. Now we're ready to put our hardware into the frame. Starting here on the driver's side, we'll feed a bolt leader through the attachment point and out the access hole. Then we'll slide the block under the bolt leader and thread the carriage bolt into the end. We'll feed the block into the frame followed by the carriage bolt and pull them both into position. Now we'll go ahead and leave the pull wire on as it will assist in putting our hitch up into position without pushing the hardware back up into the frame. Next, we'll go ahead and repeat the same process for the other two pre-drilled holes on the passenger side. Now, with our carriage bolt and block into position, we'll feed the passenger side up over the exhaust and feed the bolt leaders through the attachment points. Then we'll go ahead and bring the driver's side up into position, feeding the bolt leaders through the attachment points and push the hitch up against the frame and into position. Now we'll go ahead and install the bolts and conical tooth washers to secure our hitch in place. With those three fasteners installed finger tight, we'll go ahead and start removing the bolt leaders, installing the flange nut, one for each of the carriage bolts. Now with all the fasteners installed finger tight, we can go ahead and run them down. Next, we'll torque the specifications as indicated instructions. Now moving over to the driver's side, we'll reinstall the muffler assembly, feeding the muffler assembly back up into the quarter panel and then bringing the flange over to the spring bolt studs. I'll go ahead and reinstall the spring and nut hand tight to help secure the exhaust and then the, reinstall the two metal hanger bolts. 
Now we can go ahead and reinstall the rubber isolators. And that'll complete our install of the Kurt Hitch part number C12064 on our 2013 Dodge Challenger.